Hey guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins. As you can see today, we're outside on this beautiful day. It looks amazing out here. No, I'm just kidding. It's raining like cats and dogs, dogs and cats, whatever you say. But you guys asked and we're doing the part two of the bone cleaning bugs, okay? Now listen, it does work. I suggest if you really want to do something like this to not leave it for too long. Let me explain to you why. Come down here, Gimbo. This way. Okay. This little guy right here, that was the jaguar catfish that had passed away, and we put him in there. Now, for this fish to get to this stage that it's in right now, as you can see, the, the bugs took some of the jaw out. It took three days for 1,500 bugs to do this job, okay? Now, because I left, I didn't have time, and I, and I didn't took my time to separate it. I left it there. They start eating the smaller bones and moving the fish around. Now, this is why this is really, really cool. Look, I didn't know that this goes up and down, and he has a little hook right there. Look, look at this. Look how science is so cool. It has a little hook, so there's some. There's got to be some type of nerve that when the fish feels threatened, this spike goes up. And I think the job of this spike is to make sure that all the fish wouldn't be able to eat them. You know, that's why it's full of spikes. On not only, right. yeah, not only on this fin, but also on the pictorial fins, they have the same type of spikes. And all of them move up, I mean, in and out, up and down. Now, it's really, look, look, look how cool this is. I'm it's serious. Like, look, like a toy, right? Yeah, it's like a toy. Look, look at the way it's in. Oh, there's a little bug in there. He's still eating a little bit. There's, uh, the mechanism inside is amazing to see how the bones just move in and out. Uh, we're not going to finish. Well, actually, we're going to use him to go ahead and bleach and try to see what it'll look like after bleach. Now, there's other processes that some people do. Uh, they use like hot water with dish soap and things like that. We're gonna skip that part and go straight to the, what is it? Well, that's, that's for mainly degreasing. Right. If you're doing a fish or- I got my cheat sheet over here. An animal, like a boar head or a, you know, a pig head that has a lot of extra fleshy fat and you know, that, then you have to degrease it and get all that fat out or else the whitening won't whiten it all the way. It won't work. And it also, it could potentially rot later down in the, in the future. So okay. So you want to make sure everything's clean and dry and rid of all of the natural fats and oils. You see that, right, guys? <laughs> First, she didn't like these bugs, and now she knows everything about them. Just to let you know, that's what marriage is. Okay, so let's um, go back to this bugs. We do, we did buy 1,500 more, so now we have 3,000 plus because they are breeding. I, I learned about the salt, okay? Thank you guys for letting me know how the salt works. The process now is we did buy, what is in here, babe, in this box? Okay, so now the process is to whiten. So first you, you know, you get rid of all the flesh, then you, you can or cannot degrease depending on what kind of animal you're cleaning. And then the next, the final process is to whiten the bleach, the bones. Although you never want to use actual bleach, it's too strong, it'll it'll kill, it'll ruin the bones. They're so, too brittle. But this is what we found online. I mean, we did some research and it's actually hydrogen peroxide. Okay. But it's 12%. Okay. Well, you Ooh. buy, you, I don't need that. Well, I need it. <laughs> what you buy from the drugstore, uh, hydro, hydrogen peroxide is 3%. Uh -huh. So you can use 3%, it'll just take a lot longer because it's not as strong. So what we were recommended to use or to buy is the 12% of hydrogen peroxide. This is, this is the 12%? Yeah. Okay, so, so now... So what you do is you take, you know, one part hydrogen peroxide. Let's go do this, guys. three parts water. This so turned out to... Put the bones in first. Sorry, this turned out to be a cooking show, okay? So let's go ahead, put the bones in there. And it's okay to do it in a plastic bowl? It's not going to melt the bowl? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Let's get the little be tail. Be careful because that's super fragile. I think he's, he's already falling apart. What do you mean? He's already dead. So this is just our first try. Obviously, we're going to... Yeah, I mean, like I said, we messed up and we left it there for too long. So we're just going to see how... So you cover the bones with the hydrogen peroxide. Go ahead. All the way? Yep. Just cover it. Make sure it's covered and then we'll fill the rest up with water. And what it's going to do, hopefully... Once it starts being activated, is it'll start foaming up. Is this stuff expensive? Because that's no, a yes, lot of that's them. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. 
No, it's actually pretty um, inexpensive Cheap? on Amazon. Yeah. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. All you right. See the foam, see the bubbles. That means. What about all the working. smoke? Can I breathe this? This is. It's gonna get warm. It's supposed to heat up. It's gonna heat to activate. So. Can I touch it? Fine. I wouldn't touch it. We're supposed to have gloves on, by the way. Don't. It's not hot. Ah! It's, I'm just kidding. It's gonna warm up. That's good, babe. Okay. So now what you want to do is leave this for 24 hours. Now how do you get the bone inside? It's floating. Maybe so there's air in underneath. there. No. No, no, no. Hold on. I don't want to get my finger oh, melted. Oh, they do say to lightly cover it. Lightly cover the... There's got to be like, there's got to be bubbles in there. Because bones don't float. Listen, we can repeat the process. Ha! Look at what I said. Okay, Please, so just lightly, listen to me, to woman. cover it. Okay, this is all covered up. What? Okay, all right. All right. Why is he coming back up? It's fake. It's, it's really it's light. The, it's, it's light ugh. It's the peroxide stuff has bubbles, so yeah. it's making it float. It'll okay. Listen. The oh, I'm listening. to do is, you can do this for 24 hours. Then, if you want it more, do you it just again. Repeat the process for another 24 hours. You clean, clean it, do, get it out of the current process, and start fresh, depending on how what you really want it. Okay. So this is just our first trial. Just to um, see how it looks. it's bubbling up and it's foaming, so that's a wow, plus. Wow, that's pretty cool. Now, if we, if there is any, if there's any uh, fatty or skin tissues, that's not going to whiten. So you can see it, it may not, you know, it may or may not do the job we want, but because we skipped the step we one. We skipped the degreaser. So it's because I wanted to finish this video for you guys, we skipped step one. So okay. So as you know, that's trial and error. That's kind of how we do things here. So. Like my hair. Yeah. So uh, this process with the bugs and everything is really good for larger animals like the boar head like i was saying before deer heads wife head with smaller more brittle animals like this it's a little bit you know different so we'll see okay well it's but floating the bugs do work that's the main thing now remember i said i left this guy then three days later they did the job i just left it for too long and they started messing up with the rest of the bones what they shouldn't mess up because the bugs don't listen um we also had a little baby stingray that arrived dead and that only took a day, and we didn't take it out because the stingrays have a lot of cartilage. 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 Mother. <laughs> what, say it again. Cartilage. Cartilage. There you go. And um, it's it's uh, the, the the bugs ate it all, and just you can even tell it was a stingray. Yeah, the bones dispersed pretty easily. We added a gar in there to see what it would look like, and it's amazing because they haven't really ate the skin on the outside. They went straight inside of the gar, and they're not messing with the skin because it's all like armor. So for step two, this is going to be one I want to film, actually. I want to see the process. Maybe we leave the GoPro filming this. I want to see the process of the whole fish. Now, this guy right here, the story of this guy is I shipped him and Southwest messed up. The flight got canceled. By the time they told me to go pick it up, he wasn't alive because they told me too late. Poor guy. And these guys are really difficult to ship. Uh, they have amazing, huge fangs. Let me see if I can... Ew, gross. Come on, wearing gloves. I know, I know. He's got the coronavirus. You're gonna get cut or something. Come on, dude. I'm gonna have that stuff in my nails. All right. Anyways, you look. Get, like, you can see like he's got the fangs and the the two bottom fangs right here. It goes inside of these holes it's on his cold, head. Yeah. So right now, once you open, let me try to open this. I'm losing my mind here. Oh, hold on. I got my keys. Oh no. Yeah, that's fine. No, it's not. The car's not gonna complain. Don't ruin the I'm not, I'm not. Look at the size of those fangs. Okay, okay. So I kinda wanna leave it open like that. Well you for might them be able to, to get move it. it around. As we've noticed, you could probably adjust it once the fat's gone. Yeah, but I wanna leave it like up but and let the let the the bugs get in there beautiful animal very very finicky they're the hard to like take care of it i'm moving too much yeah sorry but we're gonna go ahead and put them inside with the bugs and see how long it'll take for them to finish that up and by the next time we film this again this guy is gonna be completely gold i'm just getting white <laughs> yeah we have to loosely cover it and let it sit for 24 hours so we'll put some cover on it i mean i think you should be wearing a mask because look, look at, at the mask yeah See, it's not the steam. steam i don't think it's hot babe no it's but it's it's 
chemical, chemically reacting. Yeah, it's science. We're doing some crazy stuff over here. It's pretty cool. But as you can see, the, the bones here are super, super fragile, super small. So they're pretty, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I guess Sensitive. Fragile. Yeah. Now, the key, I think the key for this bug. Oops. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> The key for the bugs is to not leave it for too long. So once you see, you start laughing, I'm trying to look cool. <laughs> Why is it so red? Hold on. I lost my tampon. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. If it happens some nights, you just start laughing for no reason. All right. Can you try? Can you try so people at home can see? What? Guy, go up and down with it. Up like, and down. like, go like this. That is crazy. It's amazing how that works. All right, back to business. Let's go ahead and put this uh, vampire inside and see. Uh, you know, guys, I'm sorry, but he does stink in there. Okay, don't do this inside of your house. Oh, the bone, the bone, the bugs. Thing. Lord, that thing stinks. I, yesterday we we're making a video, and I kept telling him, "Like, my that shit stinks." It's right by my nose. Remember? You thought it was the microphone. I thought it was this this uh, tampon because he got wet, but no, it was the bugs. So let's go ahead and put him inside. It sucks, but at least we're doing something with the bones. You know, it's not the fish is not going to waste. So let's go ahead and put him in. It's a little hot in here. And guys, by the way, if you uh, want to buy some of the we sold a lot of stuff, so I don't know what's left. But if you want to buy some stuff, check out the last video for the promo codes. We have what, three or four of them? Uh, we have orders over $100. We have orders over $200, 10%, 20%, free shipping, and a bunch of other stuff for free. So check out the last video, and you see the, everything we have in stock. Yeah. All right. This was the gar. And that's been for a couple days in there already. You see they're eating from the inside out. Yeah, they're eating the guts and stuff. They're not really messing with his shell, which is interesting because it's just like an armor. So let's go ahead and put this uh, Pyara in there. I hope, okay. Hopefully they don't jump on my arm. What the heck is that? All right. Not too close. Let's see how long. It was, <coughs> okay. Where can we put these bugs? Because they do stink. Oh my god. Where are we going to put them? Look, there's already bugs going right at, on the tail. So I think they can smell the flash meat. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I'm gonna have Lewis clean up that, that extra paper over there tomorrow. He's not gonna be too happy. And look, babe, come on the side real quick. This is the, the, the interesting part. Look how many babies they already have. You see right here? They're making holes all over the styrofoam. And I don't know if they make love in the holes or they make love out of the hole well, and lay the, lay the eggs inside. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a bug expert, but pretty pretty neat pretty gross. so this is this is one of stage like that little guy you showed this is a stage two right there can you zoom in on that guy or no come on there you go that guy's stage two and in the bug form is the last stage that's got to be over like five thousand of them in there already this is they're laying so many eggs so let's go outside because it stinks in here what are we gonna do when we start opening doors again and we got to put them somewhere Oh man, maybe put it in the roof. So let's finish this up. We're gonna leave this overnight. You said 24 hours? Yep, and then we, we gotta cover it and leave it. We're gonna cover and leave it. Um, some of the parts already starting to look pretty white. Interesting it. stuff. Interest, interesting stuff. All right, so we'll keep it going. Ooh, soon. look at that, it just went down. I'm telling you, man, that thing's still alive. Eh. Back up. Caught on camera. Back down, back up. No, I don't know. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to try some science like this, 
make sure you're wearing gloves just like I am and um, there's plenty of instructions online on be safe get, yes because yeah. you don't want to be messing with stuff like this without being protected wait this this is what the dead fish was yeah all right again don't forget we have the sale going on to next Sunday so if you want to buy anything a lot of stuff is sold out but what is available should still be on the website all right that was a little weird hold on what is available should still be on the website all right I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time